Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. The other day I was helping somebody make a keychain and and I needed the the way to put the eyelet through the uh, to make an eyelet so to put the keychain on the keys. And I kind of came up with a better way. I, I've drawn the keychain. It's real big for the video. It's 12 by 5. But And then I, I hit P and put it in the center page. And then I just drew a relative square, put it in the center of the page. Holding down the control button, and this video is about the control button, I'm just going to put it anywhere in there. I'm going to take the virtual segment delete key, and I'm going to delete the box. Now here's the key, the, the three-point curve. Join that node and that node, and then hold down your control button, and it's going to let you draw symmetrically no matter where you have it. And then you can kind of see the shape and the size, and you're done. Now, it is two parts, so you can do one of two things. You can weld it, which I'm not the biggest fan of all the time. And I explained that just the other day in another video. There's two nodes there on top of each other, and they're not really a good Fit, even they are welded together and I'm going to show you the difference so now we're going to back up here before I had it welded we're going to do the same thing three point curve click on that node on the node to node and then hold down the control key now we're going to use the smart fill tool to fill that in we'll take that shape away and we're going to left click right click and now there's only one node there and they're connected a lot better so the smart fill tool wins again now to put the let's say to put the eyelid in there I'm going to delete that and delete that I'm going to hit this and put it in the center of the page <clears throat> and let's say we're going to need a quarter inch eyelid hold down the control button again and change this to 0.25 and as long as your ratio is locked, hit P and put it in the center of the page. And then just grab it while holding down the control button. And just put it anywhere in there you want. You've always got to think about, you need some excess wood here for it not to break. Now this is a really big keychain. So I'm going to make the hole larger. And I'm going to hit P and put it in the center of the page. And then while holding down the control button, it's still going to be in the middle. But you've got a lot of wood around here. And just to kind of show you with the Smart Fill tool, that's what the keychain would look like. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.